Hello, everybody. Welcome to the end <laughs> of Summer Ween. So, happy day seven of this. You'll be seeing this a day later than all the other ones, but whatever. Um, but <laughs> you know what hasn't changed? The fact that I don't feel like even looking a beauty blender in the eyes. You couldn't pay me. You couldn't pay me. I just, I don't want to. I just don't want to. I am thinking of making this a extra add-on day of tomorrow just because I'm not posting this till Saturday, so kind of why not? So I might be doing that because I do want to make sure I finish these books and wrap it up. But I did finish last night Mooncakes, which is the graphic novel I had started yesterday. I really like this. This is probably my favorite graphic novel I've read to date. This is about a small town where there is a girl who is a witch and she lives with her grandmas and her friend comes back into town. They had just moved out. They are a non-binary werewolf and something is in the forest. There's like a paranormal entity that is haunting the forest and trying to possess people I guess and so that whole thing is basically they're just trying to fight that and they unearth a cult and all these creepy things and it's just great so I really recommend it very good spooky graphic novel very cute and then I'm going to keep going with pumpkin heads which is about a couple of friends during their last year of working at a fall festival and I am about a quarter of the way into the burning girls this one is about a person within the church I don't know how to pronounce it it's a it's a vicar viker whatever I'm literally picturing Lorraine Warren from the conjuring movies I'm hoping there's a love interest so that I can picture Ed at some point just I love Patrick Wilson but beggars can't be choosers I guess but she moves to this town with her daughter to take over the position for the time being because the guy who was there before just was found hanged in the church and this is after he is starting to like claim that the folklore that surrounds this town of the burning girls who were girls that were burned at the stake um, centuries ago are actually entities haunting the place and so people basically think that he just kind of lost his mind a bit and was not well and that's why it happened but she's not convinced and so we're following a couple points of view it's a little confusing because there's not a set like regimen of of points of views so we do follow from first point of view the person who is our main character I cannot remember her name off the top of my head I'm reading it on my Kindle even though yes I do have the physical book I just I'm reading it in the dark I've switched it to where um, well I am reading it in the dark and I'm not because I switched final girl support group to be my book for reading in the dark because I happen to read it all at night and then I'm switching this to be my horror book I think think that's what I'm doing I don't know whatever who cares it's day seven who's gonna check me I'm not checking me I'm not checking you so don't check me you know what I'm saying anyways there's been multiple things happening it's written very creepily it's set in the English countryside which has very many creepy vibes to it so I'm enjoying it I'm going to grab lunch because it just got here because I door dashed it because I'm honestly just too lazy to drive right now and I am giving myself like a do nothing day because tomorrow is gonna be a heavy editing day so yeah there's that but uh yeah I'll, I'll check in with you guys later when I have updates if they do come okay hi so I knew this was gonna be this way I knew that I was gonna have to do like a extra day just to kind of close out everything hello so as you can see behind me I just got Panera thank you thank you I'm happy about it too I am going to continue working on doing some editing I have been listening to the fifth book I think in the cozy mystery series Jana Deleon is writing this one's called gator bait you know what technically it's a mystery there's some thrilling aspects and there's a really crazy dog that's a little scary I wouldn't want to come to face with it so this fits in summer queen right there's a couple of people in the discord that were talking about how they are going to be doing an extra day of summer and I was like we can just make up rules <laughs> like who's gonna stop us so this is officially a two-day vlog day seven and day 7.5 so last night I continued reading the burning girls it's creepy 
it's getting creepy I'm not gonna lie to you um there are some teenage kids in here that are absolutely incredibly super duper annoying and if they you know get the first I am not gonna be upset about it you know what I'm saying maybe add to the burning girls <laughs> let's have a third okay because there's two in this town why not have a third because this rosy girl is awful just kidding not totally wishing that on a teenager at all She's really bad. I really can't stand her. But other than that, there's just been so far, you know, in like a scary paranormal movie, there's like the knocks on the doors and then for whatever reason, they smell rotten meat. I'm really just thinking of The Conjuring. Like people get yanked out of their bed at night. Bathsheba is like up on the dresser, you know, things like that. It's very specific to The Conjuring. That did not happen in this book, but could you imagine? But it's like all of those little scary moments that are leading up to the big reveal, but I'm pretty sure that this is not going to be an actual paranormal thriller, which I am going into it with that, so I don't think I'm gonna be let down by that fact. I actually want to see how they explain all of these things, considering they're so very paranormal, and I have a really solid feeling it's not paranormal because we just got introduced to another point of view, which I will say. So we have the point of view of the priest person, okay? That's easy to tell because it's first person, she uses I and me, so I get it. Then we have the point of view that's following her kid, which is third person, I wanna say omniscient, but I'm not sure. But that one, easy to follow because it states her name at the time. But then we have like two points of view, but I can't tell if they're two different points of view. One is like following this kid, but from third person, and the other one is following a grown person from third person, and it's a little confusing. There's no labeling, at least on the Kindle, for me to understand who we're following. So I don't love when thrillers do that because it just makes it hard to understand what's going on and I don't feel intrigued or like, you know, scared or thrilled. I feel confused and mildly annoyed at best. Glad I didn't pick up the audiobook basically is what I'm getting at because it just would not have been good. But last night I decided to take a chill pill because um, my head, and my head is still hurting really bad. I'm hoping that it rains soon that this goes away because these sinus headaches have got to go when I tell you I'm over it. But I'm hoping to get this vlog closed out soon. Actually, yeah, probably the next update's gonna be the last one because I, y'all, I wanna premiere this. I gotta get it put up tonight so that people know it's premiering because that's how that works. So, yes. I'm gonna go eat this lunch really quick and then read a little bit more and then we'll be done. So, I'll catch you then. Okay, hi. So, I know, same exact angle. I did make coffee, you know, in between this. It was decaf, because I'm trying to make sure I actually sleep at night again. But I forgot I had a lot of work to do. Uh, I don't know how I forgot. I think it was something about selective memory, not sure. I do. So I did not read anything. I mean, I read a little bit more of Gator Bait, but that's not really in this readathon, so it doesn't even like actually matter. But let's talk about the books that I did read while we see if the sun is gonna go to sleep right now. What the heck is happening? Okay, so first up, I finished Coraline, which I listened to on audio. It was amazing. I just ordered a copy of it for my middle grade shelves because I do not own it, but I really liked it. Then uh, I finished final girl support group i also gave this five stars it was phenomenal i freaking adored this book y'all need to pre-order it go get it i think it comes out next week so honestly see you reading it then then i finished moon cakes which i thought was just super cute and i really liked it that was a reread those that was kind of like not fair <laughs> I knew I was gonna like that. And then I finished it out with First Grave on the right. I think that's, I read four total. Four books in one week is not bad, to be honest. But uh, yeah, pretty proud with it. So next week's vlog, you already know the TBR is gonna be finishing up the books that I'm currently reading, which is fine, fresh, dandy, love it. Um, Yeah, I think this is pretty productive. I cannot believe how many people participated in Summerween this year. I'm still getting tagged and stuff. People are putting their vlogs up. I'm going to go watch a bunch of them after I finish editing this, but yeah. Gabby mentioned it on Instagram. We have some things that we have planned in the future, so fright not. Summerween is going nowhere. If anything, we're doing it more. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for participating in Summerween if you were able to. I hope that you will join us in Winterween, and yeah. 
one last time the emoji of this video is a pumpkin and uh thank you so much for watching i hope you're having a wonderful morning afternoon or night wherever you are i will catch you in the comments down below and in my next video bye